Thanks everyone for tuning into the interview. So how good yeah. was that? That was fantastic. fantastic. That was a lot of fun. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Toby. We should we should have more Toby's of those. So cool. <laughs> we we've been pretty solid. We did like four interviews in no, the last but, month no, but or so. Re- remember how our plan last year was to have him like 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 every, like, like three or four times. <laughs> <laughs> that was our plan. We were supposed to yeah. talk to him. So we talked to him last year before before pra- or or after practice. And then we were supposed to talk to him again after Bahrain, but then a bunch of shit happened. Anyway, whatever. Episode 57 yeah. still goes on. And we will have him later on. Honestly, like we will. We will do our best. Honestly, viewers. <laughs> Great insight from Toby. That mm-hmm. was amazing. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah. he always has the inside scoop. But he hangs. That was great. He, he hangs out with, like, like this, make no mistake, this guy, like, he. You saw, like, yeah, he's just the, talking the, about hanging out with Nui, with the because who, who all the engineers. That's what the people. German press does. They don't they don't bother with this tabloid shit, like yeah. following Lewis Hamilton like, around. What, they what go color to is this Lewis's sto- hair this weekend? Yeah. Did he color his hair? Is he, <laughs> does he have earrings on again? <laughs> but, does he wear those earrings in the car? You know, I think. Does I, he I, take <laughs> off that necklace when he drives? <laughs> Fine. That cares? must add an extra ballast. I, right? I think uh, from one of the questions that we got from uh, one of the viewers <laughs> about you know what what he enjoys yeah. most about the sport, yeah, uh, and, and because of his background being German and mm. and sort of the 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 German perspective on a lot of things is like how does something work yeah and that's what I really enjoy about it but like uh, yeah and that's his perspective and that's a very sincere form of journalism oh, yeah. where it's like I. I just want to know the truth and and understand how it works. Yeah, and that just that's just breeds great uh, journalism. Oh yeah, and that's just fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the yeah. stories that are just put out there just to fill a page, mm. like everybody what can see this, TMZ. I, no, no. But honestly, I think that we are at a point right now where like most people that, for example, are listening to this show mm-hmm. have access to the internet, have access to like the wealth of information that is out there. Mm. And you can discern. You can like even a baby can, man. Honestly, like you can you can look at a, at a at a front page and like if it's all like bright letters and like like let's show this guy's butt crack, like yeah. then you know it's sensationalist. Yeah. <laughs> what what Toby's publication and what they what they focus on is clearly not that. It's like it's actual real stuff, and you can tell. <laughs> yeah, the technical stuff. The deeper politics, yeah. not just like the sensationalized, out of context Bernie quotes. Mm-hmm. And actually, something interesting here that humidly, the guy who asked those two questions that we had just asked Toby, uh, just said, he said, uh, by the way, his theory for the, why some of the tech stuff gets more, sorry, it gets less traffic from overseas, from our side, from mm-hmm. the West. Mm-hmm. He says it's it's tricky to read them if they're written in English. Never mind through Google Translate, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that's Which a great point. Could, uh, at a little bit of, of trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Luckily, I can I can well, understand like thirty percent German or something. Yeah, I got so about ten percent on my. It on makes my it head. a bit easier to, <laughs> to read some of it. Like sometimes I'll, I'll look at it in English usually first, and then the stuff that translates weird, I'll go back in German and be like, and see if I can. Yeah. Because a lot of times, like the sentence is just structured backwards. It's like uh, well, in, Yoda. In the, Yoda speak. <laughs> yeah, that's, G- that, yeah, that's G- what German is. Yeah, German <laughs> through Google Translate is like yoga speak. Yoda speak. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> What's that right there? Yeah. Right oh, there, right right right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend made this. It's like a little, it's a little Yoda. <laughs> right hook. Yeah, a little right it's, hook. It's a, it's, a, it's a toy Yoda, not a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cro- crochet, yo- crochet Yoda. Oh man, I gotta somehow put this over here. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, there it is. But anyways, yeah, right. It's S- smiling, he is. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. Another language that kind of reads like Yoda speak when you translate is Russian. Oh God. We're going to be there this weekend. Yes. For a race. The F1. I mean, okay. Formula One. Well, not okay. we, we won't be there. Well, no, we're not going to be there. Well, I, I, Jesus Christ. Like, I think if, if we're doing our job right, we're we're probably going to be banned. Yeah. from. <laughs> Actually, hang on a second, because there's one thing that I that I forgot to bring up when uh, <laughs> when I was talking to Toby, when, when we were talking to Toby. Uh, but one thing that I that I forgot to bro, to bring up with Toby is that he so Baku's coming up, right? Like we we're talking about Baku, and one one of the main stars, or like in their billboards or whatever, like they're promoting this big concert that's going on along with the Formula One race, mm. and one of the stars that they're bringing is Chris Brown, right? You know, no, or, no, this Azerbaijan. 
or sorry, Baku, Baku. That's what I'm saying, Baku, Baku, oh, okay, Baku, okay, Baku, okay. Baku, Baku. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So in, in, in Baku, they're gonna bring Azerbaijan, or <laughs> they're gonna bring Azerbaijan. They're gonna bring Chris Brown, right? Yeah. Uh, Pharrell as well. And, well, no, no, no. But, well, Pharrell, yes, and Enrique Iglesias, and, and yeah, and Enrique Iglesias. But what I found interesting is that they are bringing uh, Chris Brown. And remember when we were talking about. The, the Azeri Grand Prix or the European Grand Prix in, in Azerbaijan, in Baku. Um, how to get there, you don't you don't know whether or not you're going to be actually let in the country until you're there. You have to you oh, have to shit. take you have to take a leap of faith, fly to Azerbaijan, and then once you're there, the immigration of the immigration officials will tell you whether or not you're fit to enter the country or not. Right? Okay. Right? Wow. Right? Remember, okay. We we talked about a few weeks ago. Azerbaijan is actually setting up through the federal government yeah. a special visa specifically for people that are coming to watch the race oh wow a special visa right. yeah you, okay now so l l this is a country that basically right now the way things are gone are, go are going uh if i say something negative about azerbaijan right now like mm -hmm. because this is going on the internet and whatever and mm -hmm. like somebody could listen to it um i could be barred from entering the country right wow Right? No, I could. I could. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's very easily like they from any country. Yeah, really. yeah, from any country. Like, or no, no, or no, no, no. No, not really. Like if if you can, if you I talk can, about uh, Erdogan, Justin Trudeau yeah, well, might no, come no, through. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 talking about like ex like like countries and you know with, with some shady legislation behind it. But anyway, like yeah, yeah. Abaku and Azerbaijan, you don't know whether or not you're gonna get in until you get there, right? Mm -hmm. Uh and and they will let. Um, Chris Brown in, which is which is which I find weird because a country that you don't need to find out whether or not you're coming to it before you get there, for example, is Canada, mm. right? Right. And <laughs> you, you know who we d who we in Canada didn't let in Chris, Chris Brown. Brown because he is a convicted felon. He's a convicted felon. He's a convicted he felon. Beat up a woman. Yeah, <laughs> he's a convicted felon. Wow. And whether <laughs> whereas a convicted Fell it in for the criminal system. For a violent yeah, crime. yeah. For for being a shitty person, a <laughs> shitty human being, is not allowed in Canada. And this country that they're going through such lengths to not like to p p potentially not let people in, they're just letting that. No, no. Just come on in, guys. <laughs> they're not just letting him in. They invited him yeah. and paying him money, paying him money to sing his shitty songs. Convicted like. felon. Don't worry about it. As, as, you know, as long as you're not saying anything negative about us. I've never heard a Chris Brown song in my life. And I'm proud of that too, eh? I probably heard one in passing. But uh, oh, oh, oh yeah. I can't I can't ascertain whether or not I've been exposed to, to a Chris Brown song before, but knowingly I've never. Yeah. But that's okay. Anyway, yeah. that, that's just something that I wanted to Get yeah. off my chest. Yeah, no. <laughs> back in. Now, back to Russia. Yeah. Back to Russia. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, we got a onboard. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Just, quick, just, I guess, just to kick this off. Put it in the background. A minute 44 on Hamilton's lap. What? Hamilton, 44 tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> then here's the onboard coming around. Oh, the, uh, the telemetry is all cut off. I do, I it's do see the like front straight here, the first corner. What what Toby was saying that it's it it does some some of it does look it's like a bit like a construction they did, they did site. This giant corner, which is pretty awesome, except it's off camber, which is no fun. You have to slam hard for this corner. That corner is alright, <laughs> but it, it it is a bit of an awkward. It, it, it was like you said. It was, it was an afterthought. Before. It was they first thought of the Olympics. Then they thought of um uh, of the race. Joe Sayward on his blog, um, he's basically linked the building of this track. Mm. Okay, wait, 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 because this part of the track's awesome here. This part's pretty cool. It's like uh, over here, the, this last part. You come up to like a multi apex, but I think like this corner, this track has nineteen corners, and I think eight or nine of them are 90 degree flat corners because it's kind of shitty yeah mm. here, th this this part here is pretty is pretty sweet you get that and then sharp left again oh that's that's and where the, I, the, I remember when we played this on the on the video up. game i kept going into that uh, that barrier over there to the left <laughs> yeah, this, this is the only cool part of the track where there's a couple you change yeah. direction left right left right through through a weave 
And then you go back through three more 90 degrees. So 90, 90, and then another 90, and you're back into the main street straight. They're sort of like 90s, or like pitched a little bit, but I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's pretty boring, right? It's kind of weird. It's like a tr subtropical area. They held, they built this crappy track there because they kind of had to. That was mm -hmm. the place to do it. They held the Winter Olympics there. It's mm -hmm. subtropical. Right. All the skiing and mountain events were held like 200 kilometers from Sochi, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I, I kind of hope, I hope the rumors are true. They abandoned this circuit, let the stadiums collapse and mm -hmm. just race downtown Moscow. Yeah. That would be pretty badass. <laughs> like, Moscow is a city. Like when you see it on the ground, it's, yeah, yeah. it looks b badass. Old style, old school. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Couple Moscow, stones, Moscow hundreds of year old buildings. Like, it's, it's, it's one of those cities though that is, um, it's, it's old enough that it ha it basically has to be crossed by a river for it to be that old, right? Like mm. they, they were, <laughs> there were no other cities other than yeah. cities that would like either where they were either on the beach, like by the by by the ocean, or it's like a by a river. Fat river right down the middle. Yeah, and and <laughs> so 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 that's Moscow. Yeah. So uh, the the track configurations are definitely limited to <laughs> to that geography. So you um but. It's you can still probably make a kick-ass race down the streets of Moscow. Yeah, it's not going to be any worse. Than, it's not, not? going to be any worse than Sochi, yeah. even if whatever nineties they have. They get think some whatever, elevation. In, think in whatever you Moscow. want of Russia and and their foreign policy right now. It would still be a kick-ass race. Um, I think people lose sight of what sport should be when they when they try to politicize it. One thing that I didn't agree recently, and I and I and I agree with a lot of what. Uh, uh, Joe Sayward says is that Joe Sayward uh, recently put on um, an article on Russia and like how he just doesn't agree with the politics of Russia and this and that and and because he doesn't agree with the with the foreign policy of uh, President Vladimir Putin he doesn't think that that F one should be should be involved at all in Russia because of that just because of that Bernie I Eccleston, should, I should, Bernie Eccleston actually, thinks Vladimir Putin should be running Europe and the world though. yeah <laughs> it's a little bit it. of conflict of opinion <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, Wait, sorry. it's Wait, oh, I, I, all, all I'm saying is that it, it is the job of things like culture like mm. art you know uh, poetry like human expression music sport to rise above all that, yeah, man, and and to and to remind us that at the end of the day we're all just people, right? But <laughs> we're all just trying to figure out what yeah, the fuck's going on. Exactly, <laughs> politicians and the people who are trying to figure out that stuff, what's going on in that sense. Like, yeah. you can look at Brazil; they're trying to impeach the president. They already did. Yeah. They impeached her. Yeah. So there yeah, you go. Yeah. China, uh, China has bad human rights record. J Japan spewing out radiation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking. If you, they go to Africa, they're extincting all these amazing animals. There's a, there's a million reasons to not go to any. You can come up with reasons not to go to Canada or the United States or hey, Great man, Britain or I, you know. I, I mean? can I can, yeah I could give you a million and, reasons. That, like, I I I could tell you right now that like going that stuff yeah yeah that, I I prefer to focus on like like the race. It's a yeah. race, man. Going to Russia for a race. <laughs> Russia has a lot of history. Mm. They had the Olympic the Olympic Park. Pull pull up a map of uh, Moscow just to look at the potential. Because Moscow is a lot like Paris or a lot of European cities where it's it's built yeah, it's there. built in a circle, and there's there's not a lot of ninety degree streets there. It's there's, it's got two fat rivers going through it really. But zoom in, zoom into like the their downtown you know? the yeah the red square is at the top of that that river loop there inside right in the center. Oh of the circle. Yo, there's like an island thing here going. On. I bet that there's yeah. a downtown. I think that's probably a man made river split. Yeah, but maybe not. The the red square is right there above the top of that the here, edge of that here, here, this thing here there, yeah yeah, yeah thing right not a little higher red oh square. Red, red square right there yeah oh red square yeah there we go but yeah, so uh, anyway Ecclestone's idea was to run right through the red square but any, you can see anywhere around here anywhere around here <laughs> yeah has, they're curved it's gonna streets. have elevation yeah cornered streets walls uh, cobblestone all kinds of badass stuff that you can lay, lay out. <laughs> <laughs> The Red Square. Let's take a look. Yeah, and the background here, the buildings, the old uh, wow. minarets, the towers, the parliament oh, buildings. That's just some weird ghost shit going on there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, they're not parliament buildings, but. <laughs> well, it's a, the Kremlin. Yeah. Very cool.
I, but yeah, no, whatever. Why not? I race through there. <laughs> why not? Yeah, and that would be that would be like it's it's like bridging the gap in between video games and reality. Like you like you often like Mike. It's yeah, a, yeah it'll me. be like, it'll be like closer to Mario Kart. Mario Kart pulled some of this shit off where they like like race through castles. Why not race through this crazy <laughs> cathedral? Like I thought, like that was sort of like the original point of like of like going to different countries and different cities. It's it because is because of that. Yes. If, if every place you go to is just some sort of uh, really static uh, circuit that's mm-hmm. never going to really change, then, yeah. like, what the fuck is the point? Like, what's the point of doing something like And I, I get it. I, I agree with that view, man. Because, yes, why not? If the if the whole point, uh, and, and, and I know that, like, you have had some conflicting views. If the whole point of Formula One is to keep changing where the goalpost is. If if it's a it's, it's a sport that allows itself the change of regulation, the change of location, whatever. Yeah, why not just pick somewhere flexible, somewhere where you can even one year have the race be like this way, and then the other year like add another reverse thing. It. Yeah, or yeah, reverse, <laughs> reverse it. Okay. Yeah, why not? Just let's just have let's let's throw these guys out and like actually put them like throw them in the deep end, you know? Because um, drivers are probably not gonna get much more performance out of themselves maybe not uh at a circuit like barcelona mm. they all know it they know it very well and it's not going to change but like the only thing that well, changes actually, around it barcelona is the cars actually changed in the last five or six years right? yeah maybe, but maybe seven, it's maybe seven yeah, it's been a yeah, while but said, you know once it's resurfacing changed. here or whatever but like if you could actually like corner. change like, no, like the last corners, corner they changed it, co- they added that she came. Yeah, but it's it wasn't the same change though. For example, uh, Singapore allowed themselves to do with the Mickey Mouse corner, right? With that with the Singapore sling, it's it was a drastic. That was a drastic change, and uh, changing the direction from like one lane of the bridge to the other, that was drastic. Drastic change. Yeah. It changed the racing. You can do that if you look with at street circuits and and Malaysia and, right now. What they just it's the, yeah. the circuit reached 15 years old. They're like, well, it's time to change it for the next 15 years. Yeah. They, and they they made it a new challenge. They reprofiled a few corners. Yeah. The same principle, but they 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 made it the circuit yeah. faster and more difficult. Yeah, yeah right. and that's yeah, that, and and that's something the that Formula awesome. One can afford itself to do. You know what I mean? And 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 why maybe not? And Russia, why not Russia it, maybe can't afford to do this though. Well, not yeah. Well, like that's, like that's yeah. what's important. The unfortunate part, <laughs> like Toby pointed out, the Russian ruble is going down. It's going to cost more. Mm-hmm. Even if it doesn't cost more, it costs more to them because of their money is going down, etc. Right. etc. And it looks worse now to abandon the circuit that they built. They spent hundreds of millions. Yeah, of but <laughs> Russia's like, Russia's abandoned yeah, a yeah, few ex- things. Exactly. Like <laughs> ask ask any Russian official. Like like. Do you care if this like like do you care about this and they will like whatever X is do you care about X whatever X is they will say no of course not do you want me to be honest no I'm not gonna care about that <laughs> 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 yeah. they're not they're not they will they, like if if there's a country well there's many but if, if there's a Western ish country that will easily be like no we're not we're just not having a race there anymore like we don't need to save face to you yeah. <laughs> we just, yeah we're just gonna have a race in moscow what are you gonna do about it it's gonna be russia <laughs> <laughs> i hope so yeah. well, anyways, I- i'm excited for the race anyway it's a race it's a race i'm not the most excited of any race for this race i'm excited for the race though yeah especially the way the season's been going so far we got we can't still be- gotta see what hamilton can do there's Hopefully going to be a real fight with him, him and Rosberg. Ferrari's got to uncork. They think they're closer than they've gotten to show yet. Ferrari, okay. Williams, so. Williams did pretty good at Russia last year, if I remember <laughs> correct. Um, Bottas got taken out there at the end. He was he was going to be on the podium, I think, right? Yeah. No. What are you looking at? No. Um. So remember how like I had, I had kind of be like talking about this earlier, but there is something uh like like just now that we're talking about ferrari unleashing their their power and all that there is something that i have to say because i i was the last time we, we got together we were talking about uh hcci yes and, and and things like that and it turns out because okay so i guess 
what I, what I said was something like, oh, Mercedes has been trying ACCI and Ferrari has to like recently and this and that. It turns out that specifically, specifically, the technology that Ferrari has been playing around with <laughs> is not strictly HCCI. It seems like a bit of a combo of HCCI is, no, and it, it, spark plugs. At the end of the day, it achieves sort of the same objective as HCCI. So you could have clad your arguments under uh, the, 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 the HCCI banner. Like if you had said, oh, yes, there's going to be – so there's going to be increased – uh, pressure in the in in the combustion chamber. Mm. You would have assumed, oh, so you're doing HCCI, and, and an engineer would have been like, mm, make your make your own conclusions, <laughs> and 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 the answer would have been true, yeah. both ways, because there there is increased pressure in the combustion chamber, mm. but it is achieved a different way. It's not HCCI apparently, at least as it as it as it. Um, as it, as it corresponds with Ferrari, because and, the H stands for homogeneous, right? Well, one, well, that's one of the things. And uh, another thing that, w that we were talking about actually was the getting rid of spark plugs. And actually, spark plugs still play as um, a, a, a role. What what I found interesting about this whole thing is that um, so Ferrari, as an engine manufacturer, they have to manufacture the engine this and that. But it goes all it go it goes back to like the original problem that we were discussing even last year uh, in the preseason is that it, when we were talking about Haas back then like even even last year is about what defines a manufacturer what is like because in this day and age you're not like as big a company as you as you pro proclaim that you are or whatever mm -hmm. you're not building every single part of that engine you're not building every you're not right. you're not you're not taking like you don't have a blacksmith out back in Milton Keynes building each nail each screw you you don't mm -hmm. right like you so so where do you draw the line right yeah um the way the ferrari is approaching that liberty of like yes they can be the engine manufacturer whatever they are actually having help external from this company called uh, Mel, M Mechle, Mella, Male, Male, M E H L E. This is German. M A H L E. Oh, sorry, M A H L E, Male or Mal or whatever. Uh, it, it's um, uh, my Mike in this show book. Yep. Uh, it's this the first link. Yeah, Mal. Yeah. Uh, the, the, these guys. These guys. Just, just leave it, leave it, there, leave this picture like in the middle. Okay, yes, yeah. Can, can you zoom into it? Oh, or some, some, some way. Anyway, I'll close that. Close oh, that. that's what that yeah. is. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so Mal or whatever actually uh, <laughs> went up to Ferrari in the middle of 2015 and was like, you know. <laughs> You know, Mr. Rivabene, Mr. Marchione, we got a solution for what you guys are looking for. You, you, you guys want you guys want more horsepower, right? You guys want more horsepower. I can give you more more horsepower with very relatively little change to your arrangement that you have right now. And as a consequence of this, like of that conversation and whatever, what materialized was this: the TJI, the turbulent jet ignition well a lot of people you you'd really have to like go out and like look for this but this actually came out and we have ferrari may have their power gains to like to think for uh at the department of energy in the u.s because this was actually an uh, this came out of um as a result of an initiative that the Department of Energy and the states uh, put out to basically make, they basically put out a two and a half million dollar prize uh, for anybody to come up with a simple solution to extract more horsepower without making too many changes to the standard internal combustion engine. Oh, shit. If you if you scroll all the way up, like you'll see, like the headline of this argument is yes. 2.5 million from the from the DOE. <laughs> 8.5 million looks like. Well, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Two and a half a year, so. Spread, yeah. So they basically put this thing out, like tender for anybody worldwide to just yeah. be like, yo, just come up with a clever solution of how can we, how can we extract more power of the, out of the, the regular engine, the regular engine that right. everybody lo- knows and loves. Uh, and one of the things that they came up with was this JTI. Now let me let me go let me go back down to this image here, to show like how clever it is and and and, and what like what they're doing. So, at the beginning or right or next week when we we're talking about this, we we said in general terms basically that um what they what Ferrari had had achieved or what the Formula One teams all had basically achieved is to put more pressure inside the main combustion chamber so that the combustion would happen almost spontaneously mm. as opposed to triggered by a spark plug right. right so that and and then but then for that to happen that means that the gas would be way more compressed and mm. when the combustion actually happened it would generate way more power per explosion right, right. and then it would because of that like then then the engine the the engine engine the, the internal combustion engine would be better at being an engine because on the other ends, like the the MGUH, the MGUK, the the engineers were basically being faced with a problem that was like, it was really really complicated to like get them to go from the eighty percent efficiency that they were at mm-hmm. to like say eighty five. So a five percent efficiency would be gained more easily like by still coming to revise the internal combustion engine. So right. what did what this did and this this diagram actually kind of explains it uh, very elegantly so right here what you have coming down from there like so right here at the very bottom um is what you would have had before wh- or where you would have had basically the uh the spark the plug. spark right the, the spark, spark plug, head yeah right. yeah the spark head would have come there instead of doing that now you have this mechanism As which 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 basically is the fuel injector right there with a bit of air and just a little bit of fuel Mm -hmm. and this is a spark plug too so there's fuel and air coming in from here and there's also fuel and air coming in at the the main combustion engine or or combustion uh chamber Chamber. uh but there's also a little bit coming in here and then there's this little 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 um spark plug makes a little a little spark and creates in here basically a first explosion. Oh, like a little baby like one. Like a little baby explosion. Right. And then at the very bottom here, then they have like what 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 they uh, termed the, the JTI, the, the 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 jet turbulent ignition. They put the T here, the turbulence. So at the very end here, these hot gases that come out of that explosion. Right. So imagine right here, like what what they're confronted is with like a, a, cylindric, a cylindrical chamber that that uh, that holds the piston and the gas and and fuel, right. or sorry, and the air and fuel mixture, right? When the hot air from this combustion comes out, because of the little holes that they put in, it comes out in a on a swirl like that. Okay. That makes like so this hot air. <laughs> sorry. So instead instead of the high pressure. In the main combustion chamber, yeah. what ignites the uh, the air and fuel mixture is the hot air coming from here that is being swirled around oh, fuck. Th- from these little holes. The turbulence, so that it, turbulence helps with efficiency of moving that air back out the exhaust afterwards. If it's if it's spinning. Yeah, no, no, but but yeah. also because it's spinning, the no, this this is this the, is really cool, man. The, no, what what happens is that because it's spinning. What happens is that the hot air hits the walls of the combustion chamber chamber first, and then, and then the middle, and the mm-hmm. actual spark then in the main combustion en- uh, combustion uh, chamber happens in the middle, like in the center of it, as opposed to like being like a like a whole thing kind of scenario, like they have, everything explodes. The explosion actually gets controlled to like the middle of it, and because it's not starting anywhere near the walls. It makes it it makes it more reliable, more efficient and reliable. Yes, right. <laughs> you're not burning oil on the end edges, and you're not you're yeah. not burning the actual metal of your piston. This rings. is very very clever. I click that link, the other link, the other link that was under the same heading on the uh, on the sure. book. Yeah. yeah, and it and it shows like a more detailed of like so where this part would be. 
And it seems like Ferrari is ad adapting this technology because this technology is, uh, I think, originally developed for diesel engines for trucks because uh, Obama in the United States. No, but he here's he, no, but he, that's the kicker because this is not for diesel. It's gas. yeah, no, it's, it, for, it's for regular like. Originally, I, this technology was for it because if you didn't know, right now in the U.S. and because it's in the U.S., the rest of the world, stuff like trucks. Uh, big trucks, diesel engines, train engines, uh, big pickup trucks, w work vehicles. There's no emission standards for those vehicles right mm. now. <laughs> they was like, yeah, just, just, yeah, just let's, fucking do whatever. Let's make Honda Civics and like small cars seem really good and everyone will be happy. Don't worry about the rest. But th this is moving in that. But they, I guess they've obviously Ferrari's adapted this for burning gas at 15,000 RPM. But no, but you, you know what? You know what else is good about Highly volatile this approach? Gas is that you can implement it with relatively little change to your standard engine right now. Yeah, they can get it, probably get away with this using less tokens. They actually, last and last year actually, so it came out from um, Males or whatever. Uh, um, I looked at the, the pronunciation is Mali. Mali? Yeah, yeah, that's what so, I found online. Okay. So, so from, from Mali, um, for, they basically have to disclose all their shit that they did last year recently. And they said, that, especially because yes. they're trying to win a government contract with this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they basically said that, yeah, like it was like they called up Ferrari and they said, we can implement it in your car and make it make it like run in a, in a certain level of efficiency and keep working on it mm -hmm. as soon as like within the next maybe, handful maybe, of weeks. Maybe by Russia? No, 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 no. They actually approached Ferrari last year. I know, but like, they might um, get this done for this this coming weekend, right? This might dude, be introduced. They, up, up, no, dude. Up, Have they been using this? Yes. Uh, this technology in some way, shape, or form, or at least building up to it, has been present in the Ferrari engine since last year's Canadian Grand Prix. That's uh, why we saw the Ferraris up there. Remember, and we remember, like, if you don't, if, if, if you don't remember, like, we noticed this. We were like, we weren't expecting the Ferraris to be as strong last year. Yeah. Because because I Canada do, I do remember that, yeah. Because Canada like it's it's power, power intensive. Power hungry circuit. Very, very power intensive. Yeah. That's how they got there in Canada because they and and, and Mali 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 was able to provide them with a solution that was sort of adaptable to the engine that they already had right. very, very quickly because this technology allows that if they've been doing anything since is perfecting and perfecting and keeping this going even more efficiently. Hmm. I was gonna say it might be if I did, they didn't. Obviously, we nobody knew that. It would be interesting to see how the sound changed, but I guess it didn't change too much with like, having sort of a double explosion. Yeah, because th th this this so all close, happened so close, be so close together the two explosions and the, and these all happened before the turbo, right? So, like so, something interesting too. Like I, I haven't gotten to go as deep as as you did, obviously, but uh, the way that this burns gas because it burns super lean mm -hmm. it creates a lot less nitrous oxide because of the knock right so what what happens is that yeah. uh nitrous the, oxide for anyone that does it like when you well you're breathing right now the air you're breathing is like 80 something percent nitrogen yeah. Yeah. right but nitrous <clears throat> oxide is very bad for the environment but it gets created when you burn gas together the oxygens nitrogens get stuck together so uh, this, I, this I, makes almost zero nitrogen nitrous oxide anyway. oh shit yeah uh so nitrogen i have a question oxide. now is this sort of so we've seen sort of the Ferraris have like these great takeoffs. Now is oh, this shit. is this yeah. part of is this? Because that, 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 that comes probably, to play like very early in the ignition process. Yeah, yeah, it's like it the, probably gives them a, a torque boost yeah. mm. from, from, from the get go. Yeah, because yeah. they really like. You're, you're right. That is. Yeah. And then the Mercedes is like you just think the Mercedes are just gonna own, but they're more like long distance runners, right? In that sort of sense. Yeah. From what I've read about this too is that this ignition system behaves differently at different engine speeds as well. So if you're when you're accelerating and when you're at the fifteen thousand RPM mark screaming, mm. the the ignition process is different. So the, probably they have it optimized at the bottom for launches and torque, mm. and at the top they have it optimized for power and burning more air when the turbo's spinning one hundred thousand RPM. Right. And you went three hundred. I seem probably. That's the, the HCCI that the word I said about being that means homogeneous charge. You have the same, you have to reach the same pressure every combustion, mm -hmm. 
because your fuel is engineered to combust at a certain pressure. So that's what the homogeneous charge is. You reach a charge and it ignites. You reach a charge and it ignites. Yeah. So you have to reach that same compression charge when your engine's at 2,000, 3,000 RPM at the bottom when you're launching mm. and when it's at 15. Sure. But with this, with this, you can change the mixture and the spark intensity right. and the spark there's, timing. There's more fine tuning My, there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, they, obviously, they're going to be playing around with this for years. And, 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 the, and the, perfecting the, en- it, the engine mappings, like, it gives a lot more. Like, yeah, like, how, how soon do you do the spark? Because, <coughs> sorry, there there is, um, here, like, 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 g- g- give me one second to find it just, uh, just so I, sure. Okay, so, um. The thing is that it allows for better controlling of the spread of the combustion flame and it delays the onset of detonation. So if it was just as uh, as easy as compressing the fuel as much as it can go until it becomes so hot that it spontaneously combusts, that's what then that that actually apparently doesn't deliver you the biggest efficiency the best efficiency yeah, right be- yeah the best efficient uh, and and it's controlled it's, by the the knock the knock is what i guess in 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 the people that work in this field they call it that that the detonation point and that, that that's when you ignite too early but you, they actually want the ignition to happen when the piston is still coming up yes because, right because it's going so yeah. fifteen thousand times a, a minute you want the explosion as the piston's coming up and yeah. then reach its max the max explosion happens right as the piston is at TD, the top dead center of its of its turn. Yes, yes. And the the, the timing is very critical and managing that but, pressure. But, but with with this system, as opposed to HCCI, what it allows you to do is because because you can control how much gas comes in here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Much gas and air and and and, time, and, and even even it. even the way that you drill the little holes, these little holes, these orifices, the way that you drill them and the way that like you make them spew out, with all that together, you can control way more accurately when the knock happens, when the onset of detonation happens. The knock is what you don't want. Knock is when you well, no, no, detonate no, too no, early. No, no, knock in general is the detonation, right. the onset of detonation you don't want early knock you want uh, the knock to be as late as possible right yeah and and with this you can at least model it and 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 control for it more easily than hci and that's that's maybe what has given ferrari more of an advantage maybe mercedes though and 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 this is one thing that i have mercedes is ahead i think on the thermal recovery efficiency and and this is the thing uh molly molly yeah. Mali used Mali. to make okay, they still make the pistons for Ferrari. They used to make the pistons for Mercedes. They don't anymore. Mm-hmm. And Just saying. They they used to like as of last year. So, so yeah, I don't know. It's it seems with this this system you can control a lot better your everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah everything. Yeah. It's good because I think with the HCCI you have to control the piston chamber te- pr- pressure mm-hmm. and temperature and all, all that with your valves, mm-hmm. with your valve timing. With, you have to have variable valve timing. They have to have their cams. I guess if they're using either, you, I'm sure they're using cams. All that pressure has to be controlled with your valve timing. Whereas Ferrari can keep it more consistent or use that as just another variable. Yeah. Because they can control <laughs> the amount of fuel. The temperature, the timing, Map, the spark like, intensity. Like put it in your engine maps, right? Like yeah. so, yeah. Like like change change a knob, a knob in the steering wheel, and all of a sudden you're having more pressure in this little chamber here before it goes to the big chamber. Pre, pre and watch chamber. and and how, how is that going to change your drivability? You know, there's yeah, there is more that you can play around with. Yeah, big yeah, time, big yeah, time. Yeah, which is cool. It's, this is this is very cool. Uh, in terms of if you like effic- uh, efficiency and, and 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 the technical aspect of F1. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's awesome. <laughs> um, this is how Ferrari wants to bring up the fight on on top of all the other political shit that they're doing. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, yeah. But but going back to Russia, actually, like despite, I mean, not not despite, but you know, 
as a fan, I'm still looking forward to Russia. I'm still looking forward to see, even if it is the first boring race we've had this year, I'm still forward. I'm still looking forward to to seeing that because there is something to be said about a boring race, a race where everything goes according to plan for the winning team, because then you really get to see how much further ahead of the field they actually are. So you, you, if if everything goes according to plan, as far as Mercedes stands in uh, in in Sochi, we are really gonna see like how much far ahead of the field they are. Hmm. I think so. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Unfortunately, not the best track. But like Toby said earlier, and like I've said a million times, and we all said, not every race can be the best race ever, or has to be even. Yeah, none of them have to be or. Sh- should be because then the awesome races are, are that much more awesome yeah. you can sit back and enjoy them but that much more i don't know i think that's pretty much most of what i got this week hopefully on saturday uh this weekend anyway it's going to be a race weekend coinciding with the 2017 rules deadline signing yeah hopefully it'll actually so hopefully stick we'll get, to that deadline yeah, hopefully we'll get a pre-race uh, segment on that from sky or something breaking it down hopefully they come to an agreement we can uh as, as for the track itself or whatever like we know it's still it still could be a challenging circuit depending on the condition it's still a long circuit it's one of the longest actually when when it got introduced right we were looking forward to it being like pretty long mm-hmm. so it's one of the longest it doesn't have a, like the elevation doesn't have the corners that you're gonna wa- uh, wish to have except for that that one that's off camber maybe but, yeah, but even that should be uh, but on camber remember last year it still produced an uh, okay racing yeah there's some cool stuff yeah like and maybe the tire strategy is gonna co- like it's gonna come to f- to play again where where it's going to be interesting to see the cars that are going to want to last longer. And these 90 degrees, like, remember, these yep. 90 degree corners are, if anything, they're just hard on the tires. Yeah. They're going to be hard on the tires for everybody, mm-hmm. but they're still going to be hard on the tires. Yeah. And if anything, I complained about them a few minutes ago, but it's one of the only tracks that has eight or nine 90 degree corners. <laughs> yeah. So that's what makes it unique in the end. It makes it it's it's, uh, its own its own thing. And if you're anywhere, anywhere at all, Near Toronto. close to Toronto, you can see it with us at Betty's. We're gonna be showing the race this weekend, this Sunday, at 3 p.m. So from at 3 p.m. we're gonna have the pre-show. Then 4 p.m. we're gonna show the race. Come out. Uh, join us at Betty's. Have priced we, nachos. Honestly, have priced wings. Yeah. They got Bone Shaker on tap. They have so many beers on tap. They have rotating taps as well. Cask beer. They have cask beer, the British way for our British fans. <laughs> um, and, and and that's happening uh, Sunday. This Sunday at 3 o'clock at Betty's. Look, us, uh, look it up on the website. Flatoutfever.com has all the information. Other than that, I guess... Um, you know what? We'll, we'll we'll leave us with I guess our predictions of of the winner of the race. I wanna I'm gonna go ahead and be first and take that from you guys, and I'm gonna say it's gonna be another Nico Rosberg. Yeah, I think Rosberg's gonna do it. He's oh, gonna be super man. pushing that seven. That seven. I'm going with the seven. return of Lewis. All right. I hope so. This Honestly, I, I do hope so. <laughs> yeah. I do hope so. And I'm not I'm not betting against or I'm not pushing against him, but. I do think Nico's what's gonna pull what's it out. podium gonna look like? Ooh, okay. Here, 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 here. I'll give it Ni- uh, Nico Vettel Ham- Hamilton. No, I, I I'm gonna give it M- maybe Nico Nico maybe Massa. He's been fucking pushing too. Ninety degree corners. Who's who's good at who's good at slow corners? If not the Red Bull, I'm gonna say Alonso. I'm gonna say Nico. No, Nick Nico Vettel, Danny Rick. Danny Rick. <laughs> Danny Rick. Maybe I got I got my uh, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I got my Danny Rick esque haircut this week. Oh, you sure did. <laughs> so I'll, give him, I'll give him some extra power. <laughs> side to, side head to side head from the, from above my ears to above his ears. I project my po- the power. <laughs> All right, uh, that's DJ. Cool. D- put, yeah, click that button and kick us out of here. And we'll be right. back Tuesday after the race post Russia. Yes. Yes.
Seven days, eight days, eight days. Today's Monday. Thanks, Toby. Yeah, thanks, Toby. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, we'll, uh, thanks everybody. Next week. Auf Wiedersehen.